What is up my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we defeated Bruno of the Elite Four. And in this episode, it's time to take on Karen. Oh, I am not excited for this fight, but here we go. I am going to have to get incredibly lucky at the start of this fight. Now, granted, three of her Pokemon, actually, four of her Pokemon are actually going to be very easy takedowns. Um, unfortunately, the one that is not an easy takedown is her very first one, Umbreon. I don't have anything to fight this with. So I'm just going to have to go in guns blazing, hoping I get really lucky here. Why is it fat? Oh, that's right, Glaceon's super slow. But we're off to a bad start. Okay. Gotta hope that I break through the confusion and use Blizzard here. Nope. Okay, off to a great start already. Granted, this thing, only, only the thing it can really use is Double Team. That would scare the crap out of me. Anything else that it dishes out won't be that uh, tough to deal with, at least with Nanani. As long as she doesn't keep hurting herself. I, I do have full restores. Oh, fa, here we go. Here we go. This is where it gets bad. As soon as it starts using that, this is like, I'm just like screwed. Because I'm really relying on Blizzard to hit here. Also, my luck is terrible from the start. Dang! I am in a bad spot. Okay, Nanani, please snap out. Nah, it's not going to hit. We're going to keep trying, though. We're going to... Even though it's like at a 40% chance now. Maybe 30%. We're going to keep trying. Nope. Keep trying. You need to land this. Stop! The freaking double team! Wow! You a-hole! I hate you! Keep trying! Just gotta hope it hits! Here's another Confuse Ray! This is- I knew this was gonna be the Pokemon that was the bane of my existence. Golly. Yep, it's never gonna hit. I got one more shot. And it's- I think it's- Evasion's pretty much maxed out at this point. I am so screwed. I am so screwed. Yep, alright, so what we're going to have to do then, is I actually do have, uh, where are they, I do have PP Restore, uh, I'm going to have to use an Ether on Blizzard, right now, perfect, there's his last double team, and yeah, this has now become officially a waiting game, if I can push past this guy though, it actually might not be so bad, I just need to land one Blizzard, that's all I need to do. It's not going to take it out, but it is going to do a lot of damage. Come on. I know the odds are pretty bad, but they're not that bad. Alright. There we go. Keep going. Probably have to end up using another Aether against this thing. I have to heal on my next turn, too. Uh, as long as it doesn't crit. Thank you! You know what would be better is if it froze it, too. So how much is that going to do? Not as much as I was hoping. That means I actually have to use another blizzard to kill this thing. Awesome. But the good news is, is it's not at the threshold where she's going to just use a freaking full restore on it. So if I can get another blizzard to hit, it will go down. <sighs> it's just a matter of getting that blizzard to hit. Ay ay ay. Man, I wish she had Ice Beam. It'd be so much nicer. Come on. Stop using... Confuse Ray, you dick. <laughs> Umbreon is so frustrating to fight against. Uh, in any scenario, it is so frustrating to fight against. That's why I love using it. It is a pain in the butt to deal with. It really is, especially on a even on a non-competitive level. It's just ridiculous. Because it's so tanky. It's so tanky. All right, keep doing it. Keep, keep trying. Snap out of it. Try that. We've got one more shot. One more shot. Do not crit, or I will be very upset. Mother of God! All right, what do I not need against in this fight against uh, this guy? Probably Cynthia. Cynthia is probably the least useful thing here. So we're gonna have to use this time to, of course, revive Nanani so she can keep trying with those blizzards. Do I put her PP back up? There's a confuse ray. Okay. You know, whatever. No point in me doing anything else anyway. Let's just 
HP, Hyper Potion, Nani, and then I have to use an Aether. Gosh. Just drags on and on and on. And now we use the freaking. You know, we got the Max Aether, that's fine. Don't want. No, 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 not you. Bam. Tech, here we go, because actually Nanani is going to be useful for much of this fight, honestly, because uh, she's got two Pokemon that are weak to Nanani's attacks. I don't want to you. No, I did not mean to click run. <laughs> Pussy it out, that's it! I can't kill this thing! Alright, it's not going to use Confuse Ray this first turn, so... Well, it's probably just going to use it the next turn then. So here's another Faint Attack. Gotta hope that Blizzard hits. And if it does... We're in the clear. Okay. Yeah, you can just keep using Fan Attack. I'd, I'd really rather you did, honestly. Oy. Come on. Come on, now. Come on. Come on. I really don't want to use another Ether. I really don't want to use another Ether. Just one of these four, please hit. Come on, the odds aren't that bad. Oh my gosh. Alright, Hyper Potion. Like, uh, even after six double teams, I believe it only reduces the accuracy of a 70% move down to something like 20. So, one in five should be hitting. I've used. What, 14 now, and I've only hit once? I don't think the odds are that low. I, I have a hard time believing that, that they are that low. Also, nice critical, you asshole. Umbreon! I hate you! Why two crits in a row? Why? You know what? You know what? There you go. I'm giving you the middle finger. Get out of here. Go away. No one wants you here. Dick. Golly. Okay, well, at least we took down Umbreon with minimal experience. Well, I guess we traded. And immediately, they're sending out Houndoom, which is actually going to be the second most difficult Pokemon for sure. Um, but, but Oliver, I think Oliver will be able to take this thing down in maybe two or three turns. Level 47, though, that's that's a bit much. I didn't think it was that high. Nasty plot. That's bad. I forgot he has that. That's bad. Okay, well, we're going to have to hope this Surf does a lot more than I think it does. He has a Citrus Berry, doesn't he? Yep. That's what I going to say. Shoot. Okay, well, he used Nasty Plot, but what is it going to... It's going to withdraw. Awesome. Vile Plume. Here we go. Okay, I'm actually glad it withdrew. That got rid of its uh, it got rid of its nasty plot, which is helpful to me. And I'm going to switch back to Cynthia. You know, what? actually, I could switch to Eve. No, hmm. Let's switch to Eve. Yeah, let's do that. I know Vile Plume is very special defensively, uh, special defensive. So Psybeam probably won't take it out. But actually, I would be very okay with. Oh, this is going to paralyze it. Perfect. I would be very okay with um, actually her wasting her potion on this one of all Pokemon. I think this is her... No, this isn't her weakest. She has a Murkrow, which is a little... It just has even lower base stats, but aside from the Murkrow, this is one. This is her easiest Pokemon. Um, she also... Her other Pokemon, though, they're, they're, a, they're a pain. They are a pain. All right, Petal Dance. Great. I don't. I think pedal, pedal, pedal dance. I almost said peasant dance. Pedal dance is. Is that physical? I can't quite remember. Actually. All right. Psy beam. What's that gonna do? Good. So she is gonna waste a potion on it and is paralyzed. Perfect. So I am actually gonna use the next turn to heal Nanani. I'm running low on hyper potions, but you know what? That is okay with me. There we go. There's a full restore. And, oh, yeah. all right. Another Psybeam. Which isn't going to kill it, unless I get a crit. I, I don't think I've gotten a crit in any of my Elite Four battles, honestly. No, I did. I got one critical, and it was one that was unnecessary anyway. I think that was against Koga. Great. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I kind of wanted her. Um, but I suppose we can do without... Uh, and the Pokemon that I have in mind. Let's use Icy Wind. 
Goodbye, Vileplume. I hate you. And next is probably going to be that Houndoom again. Since none of these out in front. And we'll just switch right over to Oliver again. Who apparently uh, doesn't have any... Uh, the Houndoom doesn't have any counter to it. Which I don't believe, actually, because I think it has Dark Pulse. Um... A Nasty Plot and Dark Pulse, although it probably won't one-shot Oliver, could very, very easily two-shot him. So that's... actually, it'll definitely two-shot him. It might even one-shot. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, we're gonna use Crunch, huh? Okay, well, I'm glad Crunch doesn't inflict, like, a flint or something. Dang. Uh, you know what? You can use that again, for all I care. I really do not care, because... Ooh. Good job, Oliver. That did a lot right there. Uh, man, I wish Shell Bell was more useful. Alright, another crunch? Perfect. You know what? There we go. Don't crit, please. Do not crit. Awesome. Down goes Houndoom. And all that leaves is her Murkrow and, I believe, Gengar. So, the Gengar is a bit worrisome. Uh, the Murkrow, although the Murkrow isn't a total pushover, it's not that bad. Um, it, do it doesn't really have any moves that are too worrisome. Oh, here, here we go. So we got Murkrow. I'm actually going to start with Zip on this thing, just because he can get use the experience. Uh, it'd be awesome as if I got frickin' Thunder to hit right now, and it just one-shot him. Let's see if it does that. Don't sucker punch, you jerk. Ow, that actually really hurt. Oh, so, no, 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 that was a really bad time to miss twice, dude. That was a really bad time to miss twice. Oh, shoot. Gosh, Zip, you are so physically frail. Fine, fine, I'll use Nanani. Gosh. Ay, ay, ay. Soccer punch, but at least she can hang on. Um, actually, now that I think about it, the Gengar... Okay, the Gengar she has has one move that's incredibly but worrisome, but it's not very... Accurate, I think. I think it's Focus Blast. All right, well, there you go, one shot. So we're gonna have to oh, for this thing, and I think this thing's pretty high level too. We're gonna have to use Leo. Um, I actually can't remember Gengar's stats too well. If it's more physically or specially uh, oriented, so let's take a. I'm actually gonna take a look at that real quick because I am trash, and I'm going to pull up Bul Bulbapedia. All right, so do I want to use Dark Pulse or? I'm actually going to want to use Payback. That's, I had a feeling. Don't use Spite, you jerk. Let's see how much this does. Because Payback was actually pretty darn effective in uh, the earlier battles. Look at that damage. Gosh, that is a strong move for a Pokemon that does not have a very good physical stat. Oh, fine. Make me waste a revive. I don't care. So there's Destiny Bond, which is going to make Leo go down once he takes Gengar down, which really sucks. I also think it cheats him out of the experience, too. Yep, it does. Son of a... You douche. You just... All you did is take away my experience that I was going to get from that. That's okay. I don't really think... I mean, Leo, all he's going to be able to do in the next fight is tank anyway. But we did it. We did it. And actually, with relatively the same amount of difficulty that we did against, we had against Bruno, although that Umbreon, though... That freaking Umbreon. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate that thing. Okay. It's time to heal our team. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I am actually going to be saving the next episode, or the next battle, for the next episode. Because it is the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.